Hi, I am Sri from CBTU. Welcome to another session of Java. Let us write our first Java program which prints hello world on the console. So these are the steps we need to write the code, we need to check the Java path, we have to compile with Java C which creates a class file, troubleshoot errors if any and run the class file. About the Java, Java is strictly typed programming language. We need simple editor such as notepad or an IDE like Eclipse and JDK install and setup for running our program. You can check JDK installation and setup session. Any Java application consists of collection of classes, packages and can also be nested inside other classes. One thing to remember that every Java application must have an entry point that is the main method and it must be static, declared public and accept array of string. Main method never returns a value, it must return void. This is our simple example. This prints hello world on the console. You get a few lines that are here. Let us analyze the structure of this hello world example Java program. Line one, public class hello world. Here we are creating a class named hello world and declaring it as public. Class is the keyword used to create class. In line 2, we have main method. This is required for standalone programs. Arguments args array. Main method has an array of string as an argument. Main method can take input for use within the program. The line 3 system out dot print line in quotes hello world that is in brackets this is to display the output on the console here we have a string literal and can be an argument passed through the main method as well we're going to discuss more about classes methods in the coming tutorials let us compile the java code java code is also called a source code let us save this source code as hello world.java. So this code is here. I copied it here. You see the forward slash star. This is part of Java syntax that are comments. The intent between this forward slash star and star forward slash are the comments. These are not compiled or executed by the Java. So let us save this file. So for the lines, this, this the entire thing is uh, inside the comments and these are the actual lines. So let us save this. So we are in uh, Java practice folder. One thing to note here is the class file and the file name must be same. Let us give another name and see if it compiles or returns any error. Let us say test.java. You see the name of the file is test and the class is hello world. So to compile we are in the folder let us uh, verify if Java is installed and set up configured properly. So Java setup is required for compiling and running our Java programs. For, ver for verification let us type java hyphen version 
enter. Yeah, it displays the current version of the Java that is installed and the runtime environment. Let us type just Java and enter. It returns list of arguments Java can take. It's a kind of help stuff. The similarly, similarly, you can type Java C and check for the output. Okay, so let us check the directory. So you see, you have test.java, that is what we have saved just now. Compiling a Java file is just type Java C space and name of the file. Enter. You see this error class hello world is public should be declared in a file named hello world.java so let's go back to our file and rename it as hello world.java okay let's try again let us try to compile hello world.java. Yes, the, this file is Java source code is compiled. Let us check in the folder. This is the initial file. Let us delete it. We don't want it anymore. So this is the source code and this is the class file, the bytecode file that is compiled just now. So let us run the file. So running or execution of a Java class file is by typing Java space hello world, the name of the class. Enter. Yeah. You're done. So you see the output. Hello world that is printed on the screen. We have written Java code that is the source and saved it. And using a command prompt, we checked the Java path and we compiled our Java file. Java C compiled the Java source code file into a class file which is Java byte code file. We have executed the class file by typing Java space the name of the class file and you got the output. We are successful in coding, compiling and running our first program. Here is the general info. Source files must be named after the public class they contain. For example, hello world.java. It must be first compiled into a bytecode using a Java compiler, producing the file named hello world.class. Only then it can be executed. The Java source file may only contain one public class, but it can contain multiple classes with other than public access and any number of public inner classes. When the source file contains multiple classes, make one class public and name the source file with that public class name. The name of the class file is the name of the class with dot class appended. The keyword public denotes that a method can be called from code in other classes. Great, we have created our first Java program and let us try more programs in the coming sessions. Thank you.